or welcome if you are new here. Thank you for joining me in another video. I'm back in the kitchen and today I'm going to be sharing three game day snacks you must try. Mia wrote on the menu here and the first thing we are going to make are cheeseburger sliders, then we're going to make crab rangoon dip, and then for a little treat, brownie batter dip. All of these recipes were found on Pinterest and I will have all of the links in that description box down below for your convenience so that you can try them out. Let me know in the comments down below if you will be trying these yummy treats. Let's go ahead and get started. For this recipe, you will start off by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Then you will butter the bottom of a rimmed baking sheet. Place a large skillet over medium high heat, add a half a tablespoon of olive oil and a half of a diced yellow onion and get that sauteed and heated through. Then you are going to add two pounds of ground beef and break it up nice and fine with a spatula or if you have one of those ground meat tools like I do, I highly recommend that for this recipe. For the ground beef, it does note to use 90-10 or 93.7, and I used the 93.7 fat content ground beef. As the meat is cooking, you are going to add some seasoning, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. As you can see, I did not measure, and I did eyeball the measurements and added more than what the recipe calls for, but we like extra seasoning here, so you can definitely Customize it to your taste. You will continue to let this cook over medium high heat until the meat is just cooked through. Then you will remove it from the heat and remove the excess fat and stir in one fourth cup of mayo. I wanna note that I did not add the mayo because over half of my family does not like mayo. So I skipped this step, but if it was just me and some of my kids eating this, I would have definitely added it in. The next step is to prep your rolls. You will need 24 dinner rolls. I prefer using the King's Hawaiian. And you are going to cut them in half. Place the bottom half of the dinner rolls on the buttered baking sheet. And then you are going to line the bread with cheese. And it calls for eight slices of medium cheddar cheese. The next step is to spread the ground beef mixture evenly over the sliced cheese. You can use a spatula at this step. Just make sure that it is um, spread evenly and to the edges. Then cover the ground beef with six ounces of shredded cheddar cheese. Place the top of the buns back on over the burgers and then you are going to brush the tops with two tablespoons of melted butter and immediately sprinkle the tops with sesame seeds.
Place them into the oven. Bake at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes until the cheese is melted and the tops are golden brown. Next up is the crab rangoon dip. I wanted to note that you will see me doubling the recipe as I made this, but as I read the recipe, it is just for the original serving. So start off with eight ounces of cream cheese. You will make sure it is softened and brought to room temperature. And then you are going to use a hand mixer. The one I have is from the Drew Barrymore Beautiful Collection and I absolutely love it. But you are going to cream the cream cheese until it is smooth and then add in your sour cream which calls for a half cup of sour cream. And then add in one teaspoon of soy sauce and then you are going to combine those together with the hand mixer until it is all combined. Next, you are going to add one clove of minced garlic. I added more at this step just because we really like the flavor of garlic. Then you will add your three ounce canned crab meat. I used the bumblebee brand. And then I also used some imitation crab that I chopped up real fine. And I wanted to add that A because I was doubling the recipe, but B to add more crab flavor. Add in two teaspoons of brown sugar and then you are also going to add in some green onions. It calls for four diced green onions separated. So you're going to put some into the mi mixture and then reserve some to put on top. Now it is time to add in some shredded mozzarella cheese. It calls for one cup mozzarella cheese separated. So add half cup into the mixture and then you will add the other half on top um, in my personal opinion this was too much mozzarella cheese it kind of took away from the creaminess of the crab rangoon um, so i would maybe even use less that's just my personal opinion but once the mixture is ready spread it into a baking dish top it with the rest of your mozzarella cheese and then it's going to go into the Preheated oven 350 degrees and you are going to bake it covered with aluminum foil for 20 minutes. While the dip is cooking in the oven, it is time to make the wonton chips. So you will buy the 12 ounce wonton wrappers, that's what I did here. You are going to cut them in half and separate each piece. And then you are going to bring one quart of vegetable oil to 325 degrees on the stovetop. Or if you have a fryer, you can use that as well. You are going to fry each wonton wrapper um, in batches so that it doesn't get too crowded. Lay them on a plate lined with paper towel to catch the excess grease and sprinkle some salt throughout this process. And those are your wonton chips. When the 20 minute timer is up, remove the aluminum foil and place the dip back into the oven for another 10 minutes. I ended up baking for another 15 minutes and turned on the broiler just to get it a little bit crispy and then add the rest of your green onions on the top. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's time to make our brownie batter dip. Starting off with a large bowl, you will beat together six ounces of softened cream cheese and three tablespoons of butter. I ended up using the whole eight ounces of cream cheese, just noting that on the side. I didn't realize it was only six ounces, so again, I used the full eight ounce block. Add in 18 ounce box of your favorite brownie mix. I'm using the fudge one by Betty Crocker and one cup of whipped topping. And I added way more than one cup. I added the whole container. So um, yeah, I kind of made it my own this time around, but in the end, it still ended up turning out absolutely delicious. So while you are adding the brownie mixture, you are going to add in your milk. It says you can use two to four tablespoons of milk. I used a total of three tablespoons to get it the texture and consistency um, very smooth and creamy. Once it is all combined, you can add anything in. You can mix whatever you'd like. I am adding some mini chocolate chips from the brand Giardelli. They are so delicious. Um, but you can add peanuts, pretzels, cookies, anything your heart desires. Once that is mixed together, you're going to add it into a serving dish. And you'll see here that I topped it off with some more mini chocolate chips. And now everything is done and I am just serving it up, making it look nice and pretty to serve to my family on this night. But in reality, I would be serving it to anybody who is over to watch the Super Bowl. Let me know in the comments down below if you will be watching the Super Bowl or um, are you watching it just for the commercials and attending a party for all the food because that is exactly how I am. Let me know in the comments down below. today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing three of my game day snack recommendations. Everything looks delicious. You can customize it to your liking, especially with the sliders. Feel free to serve it uh, with, with whatever sides you like to put on your hamburgers. I'm serving it with some lettuce, pickles, onions, tomato, ketchup, mustard, all of the fixings. I'm really excited to try it. The crab dip and this brownie dip looks delicious. I think I'm gonna give that a try. I'm serving our brownie dip with some Biscoff cookies, strawberries, vanilla wafers, and graham crackers. That was really, really good. Well, my family and I are going to go ahead and dig in and enjoy the rest of our evening. If you're new here, please consider hitting the red subscribe button down below. Joining our growing YouTube family, give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care. Bye.